You alright, mate? Everything alright? How are you keeping? You alright? Yeah. You live here? Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just wondering. We're just chilling in the car for it's a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah, the window down. Is. I'm not allowed to smoke inside. Oh, you is that why? You let me just smoke cigarettes in this car. You've been smoking cannabis, yeah? Nah, not really. Just, just turn, it, turn it off for now, mate. I don't want you driving up. I don't want you driving up. This is dramatic body cam footage of a teenage driver attempting to speed away from a police community support officer dragging the officer along the road. Please be sure to watch the entire video to see the entire footage and see what actually happened. If you do enjoy content like this, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Today's video will be about Mohammed Nadim. He was 18 at the time of the incident in Smedic, West Midlands. He dragged the PCSO along for almost 30 metres, ignoring shouted pleas to halt the car. In the car, a hammer and an axe were found while Nadine was found to have a small quantity of cannabis on his person. West Midlands Police said Nadine, who is now 19 of Florence Road, Smedic, had admitted assault, causing actual bodily harm, dangerous driving and the possession of an offensive weapon and will be sentenced at a later date. The officer in the video, PCSO Paul from the Smedic neighbourhood team, said it all happened so quickly. Before I knew anything, my arm was attached to the car and I was being propelled, hanging on to the side through a couple of branches a good 20 to 30 feet before I actually knew what was happening. I knew I had to get the key out of the ignition. If I didn't, I could have gone under his tyres and I might not be here today. I instinctively chased him. He was cornered and I was hoping he'd give up. The officer, who was left with a bruised arm but no serious injuries, added, I'd like to thank the quick response of the neighbourhood officers who arrived within minutes to help me. I will now proceed to play you the full clip of the body cam footage. You alright mate, everything alright? How are you keeping? You alright? Yeah, you live here? Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just wondering. We're just chilling in the car for, it's a bit cold, isn't it? The window down. I'm not allowed to smoke inside. Oh, is that why? You let me just smoke cigarettes in this car. You've been smoking cannabis, yeah? Nah, not really. Just turn it, turn it off for now, mate. I don't want you driving up. I don't want you driving up. In the vehicle, he's running away now. Run off. Stay there now. Help. He's running off. Stay there now. Asian male, IC4. Wearing blue jogging bottoms, grey. He's wearing a grey. He's running onto the high street now. So it's Cape High Street. Oh! He's saying he's on New Hope Road. He's running towards New Hope Road. Oh, he, he's just trying to run me over. Mate, stop what you're doing now. You've assaulted an officer. Down, down the hill, he's going to Montague Road, over P, Montague Road. He's just trying to run me over. Right. I've got it all on body cap. He seemed quite friendly at first. Something just clicked once the ignition went on, all of a sudden, my arm was attached to the car and I was, was being propelled through the force of the car, hanging on the side, through a couple of branches, good 20, 30 feet, shouted to the male, stop, stop, to which he, he wasn't paying any attention. I knew at that point I had to get the key out of the ignition. If I didn't, I could have gone under his tires. 
I might not be here today. And I decided, hang on a minute, what he's just done, I'm not gonna sit back and just let him get away with that. I've always been brought up to respect the police. And I thought in that moment when he, what he showed the aggression, um, I thought, no. My thoughts on this case is straight away this could have been prevented and this really did not ha like need to happen at all. The young man in question, he shouldn't have reacted how he did and essentially he's probably gone and ruined parts of his life because of this incident. As well as the police officer, he probably like he suffered a really traumatic event and what was it all over? The guy smoking a bit of weed in a car. Um, yeah, I think this really highlights the need to actually decriminalise things and certain substances. Like, we should probably be taking taking note of other countries in Europe and America as well as how they deal with things like this now. And you will never see something like this happening in America or Amsterdam or anything like that. And I think with good reason, because if you ask the police officer, was it really worth it to risk his life, risk like the happiness of his family and everything, to stop a young kid smoking a bit of weed? I'm pretty sure he would tell you that. If he had a chance to do it again, he probably wouldn't have done what he did. Um, same with the actual driver as well. I don't think if you asked him again, would you drive off like that? I don't think he would have either. But yeah, it just goes to show that these these strict drug laws in the UK are actually causing more harm than good, to be honest. Um, God forbid if the PCSO actually ended up dead from this, I think it would be a completely different conversation. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the case. Um, thank you for the a little bit of growth on the channel um please continue to like comment and subscribe as it genuinely helps thanks